Uh, with so much attention and fear surrounding the Ebola virus, medical officials are worried we are just not paying attention to the flu, which they say is worse. Dr. Mark Lamas from Greater Baltimore Medical Center joins us now with more of what we need to know. Thank you for coming in so early, especially with the time change. Well, Gets thank a little you confusing. For me. Well, nice to have you. So let's let me just get your reaction, just your feeling right now about this obsession that we have in this country and really around the world about Ebola. Where, what concern do you have? Well, that we're being distracted because mm -hmm. Ebola itself is a potential threat to the people of America, but flu is here. Flu it will get to be a bigger issue. And let's just break down the numbers for the reality check here, the number of fatalities when it comes to flu every year. Oh, flu is a devastating disease. It's more than 30,000 people will die from influenza, and that doesn't include complications that fall outside the window of reporting. Oh, so let's just make that point. 30,000 deaths annually from the flu, and we have lost one person in this country to Ebola. That's absolutely correct. Okay, so let's just, let's just talk about what we need to do to protect ourselves. I was telling you, normally I get the flu shot. I think I've been so distracted myself I haven't gotten it. Who needs to get it? Yes. Well, influenza vaccination is thought to be important for everyone. There are specific shots available for young infants up through the age of two. People throughout the span of life should have influenza vaccination. And it's even more important, and it really to say more important is not fair, the elderly really need to get flu shots. Absolutely. And, and there has always been, for some reason, there is this concern among some people, a segment of the population, are very leery of the flu shot. Mm. Uh, they won't get it because they say they're going to get sicker, or they won't get it because, you know, whatever particular conspiracy associated with it. What is the reality on that? Yeah, I hear it every day in the office. What I will say to you, there is no evidence to show that the flu shot itself directly causes influenza. The virus given to adults is a dead virus. It doesn't proliferate, doesn't cause trouble. There are local reactions in the arm once in a while. Kids do get this the live, live vaccine, mm -hmm. and that's a slightly different issue. They, have to, that they should be the only ones receiving the live virus. What else do we need to get this season? Pneumococcal vaccine for people over the age of 65 or anyone who has chronic illnesses or immunosuppression is very important. This, you know, pneumonia is the reason why people die of mm -hmm. influenza. Mm -hmm. And shingles? What about the shingles vaccine? Shingles vaccine is also important. This is the only game in town to try to prevent a devastating problem. I'll tell you, they have some of these commercials running for the shingles, and it makes you, I mean, they're, they're very dramatic. It's yeah. a very painful thing, for, for particularly for older people. Shingles vaccination, as I said, is the only game in town. Mm -hmm. It does pr decrease the frequency. It decreases the severity. It's a good idea. Jennifer asked you this in our commercial break, which I thought was a terrific question, which is when you, when you go to your pharmacy or your grocery store and they ask you if you want a flu shot, is there a difference between the flu shot there and the flu shot I would get in your office? There should not be. The, there are influenza shots themselves are, are generally the same. For seniors who are at risk, there is actually uh, Im the importance of getting them cannot be stressed. They, sh they are the same shots. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. Lemus. Thank you, and I hope you have a healthy winter. Well, I hope you have the watch. Right. Thank N you for inviting me. N